Okay, this is Simon Stevens from Empire Paintball, and I'm going to take you through the functionality of the LTD system. Now, I've just installed some new batteries, so I'm going to turn it on. Now, you turn it on by pushing the middle button and holding it. Now, the LEDs on this side will scroll up. If you release the button before it scrolls all of the LEDs up, the loader will not turn on. That's to stop you from accidentally turning the loader on inside your bag. You have to push and hold it. So watch the LEDs over here. Push and hold the power button. One, two, three, four, five. Release it, the loader's on. In my previous video, when I turned the loader on, you saw that those LEDs were red. That meant that I had to change the batteries. When I just turned it on, the batteries were green, so obviously the batteries are good. Every time you turn the loader on, you will immediately see what the battery level is, so you tell if your batteries are good or not, so you'll never be stuck with bad batteries in a game. Red, change the batteries immediately. Amber means you're okay for a little while, but you should think about changing them as soon as possible. And green means you're good to play. Anytime when the loader's on, you can also push the two top buttons and get a battery status. So there they went green. My batteries are all good. Now what I did when I turned the loader on is I come on in the same configuration as when it was last turned off. Now in this configuration, you can see that the blue LED under eyes is lit up, which means that it's using eyes. So it'll use eyes to feed. If I push the button again, I change configurations. Now my configuration will be indicated by the LEDs on this side. So I push it once, two LEDs. Now you see an amber LED up here, and it's now using sound activation to run. And I push it one more time. I'm in configuration three, and it's now using RF to run. It will only run if it gets an RF signal. And you can scroll through those configurations as many times as you like simply by just pushing the power button quickly. Now I'm back into eye systems. You see it's running continuously looking for balls. There's no balls in there, so it'll keep running for a while until eventually it will time out. It times out after about five seconds, I think it is. Okay? So that's what configurations is. Now your configurations, when they come out of the box, you get I, sound, and RF as three different activations, but all of the speeds and the forces are exactly the same. You can change those very easily by going into the programming mode and changing the settings. And you change them for each configuration. When you go into programming mode, you will change the settings for that specific mode. Going into programming mode is very easy. You push the top and the bottom button at the same time. The LEDs scroll up in blue. Now we're in programming mode. In this configuration, you see my speed is set to three, and I'm gonna bring that down, set it to one. I'm gonna set my torque down to one as well. Um, it says I'm on eye sensitivity three. What I'm actually gonna do is go into sound activation, and I'm gonna put sound activation to the maximum so I can do a demonstration for you. It shows me that RF, there's no LEDs lit, RF is off. And I can just keep pushing that middle button to scroll through each of those settings and verify what they are. And obviously you see now that I've turned sound activation on, the eyes have automatically turned off. Okay, so that's configuration one. I exit programming mode by pushing the top and the bottom buttons at the same time. And now configuration one is in sound activation. I'm gonna push the button once, change to configuration two, which was already sound activation. Go into programming mode. And now it's set to three on the speed, three on the torque, eyes are off, sound is on. I'm just gonna put it up for maximum sensitivity for my demonstration, and RF is off. So that's good, I push both buttons, and I exit programming mode. I'm still in configuration two. Push the power button one more time. Now I'm in configuration three, which is RF. Go into programming mode, and it's set at three. What I'm going to do is set the power up to five, Set the torque up to five. Eyes are off, sound is off, but I'm gonna put the sound up. Now RF is automatically off, okay. So I've reconfigured my three configurations. All configurations, one, two, and three, are all using sound activation. Now this is one of the very interesting and very important things about this system. If I put it into configuration one, hopefully you can see there, it's just moving very slowly and very gently. So I've set the loader to be as gentle and delicate as possible. If I go out and I play like this, I'm not going to break any fragile paint, I'm not gonna have any problems with barrel breaks, 
double feeding, breech breaks, those kinds of things. But sometimes if you set your loader too gently, it won't actually feed fast enough or consistently enough for the way you want to play. If you go out and you set the loader very gently normally, there's nothing you can do till you come back in and you change all of your settings. With the LTD, you simply push that button one time, goes into configuration two, and now you should be able to see it's spinning harder and faster. And again, if that wasn't enough, I go to configuration three, and it's set to maximum settings, I'm not gonna have any problems. So you can actually do this while you're playing. You can have configuration one, set to be very gently. Oh dear, it's not enough. I need more power, more speed. Go up a setting. Go up a setting again. Go to very, very fast. This is extremely important and is a huge breakthrough in being able to set your loaders to run the most fragile paint possible. And it'll give you a huge competitive advantage if you're playing in tournaments or even if you're just using poor quality paint. You'll make sure you have less barrel breaks, breech breaks, and breaks in the loader. Okay, what we also have, some basic functionality that I, that I missed addressing right at the beginning, is you have your forwards button. You push, it's just going to run the loader in forwards. Push it quickly, and it will run. Push and hold it, it'll run as long as you hold it, and then stop when you release. But a quick tap, if I can show you. Uh, get my finger on the button will actually run it. So if you're playing and you just tap that button quickly, it will run the loader forwards. Now if you hit the reverse button just quickly, it comes backwards and then forwards. And you see that is an automatic anti-jam clearance. Push and hold it, it will run in reverse as long as you hold the button and then when you release. Because it's in sound activation, when I release it just stops. If I'm in eye activation, and I reverse it, it'll stop, then it'll go forwards until it sees a ball feed again. So that's the basic system for the LTD and why it's very, very important. You see your configurations over here, and you can change any of those configurations and any of those setting levels. Sometimes you, you might find that uh, RF is definitely faster out of the gate. So you'll set up and you'll have RF available, but sometimes with RF signals or with the transmitters, there can occasionally be problems. So you might set configuration one to be RF and to be gentle. And you might set configuration two to have a little bit more speed, a little bit more force, and eyes. And then as a backup mode, you might set configuration three to be higher speed, higher force, and very sensitive sound activation to make sure you always make sure the loader runs when you're firing. But what this system really allows you to do is very simply tune the loader in to give you the best performance possible with the least risk. Thank you very much. Check out more videos to come. Follow me on twitter.com slash simonizedpb. I'll be giving you a lot of uh, updates on the latest technology, latest things going on in paintball. Thank you.